No child left behind. It's a major focus for the Knox County Parks and Recreation Department. At the top of the department's five-year plan is building an all-inclusive playground for children with special needs and disabilities. Yeah, that project will cost between $250,000 and $350,000. County leaders are looking into several grants and American Rescue Plan Act money to pay for costs. Zeke Torres has more. A project start and end date is not known, but the location of the new ADA compliant playground has been chosen. It'll be built here on available land near Wabash Trails Park. Across 500 acres of Knox County Parks, playground equipment for children with special needs and disabilities is limited. It's an urgent need, and I feel like in the size of a community, that's something that we're sorely lacking. A new disability-friendly playground made of recycled material will have wheelchair accessibility. Swings, a teeter-totter, water feature, and simulation area with music will cover the property. Superintendent Rhonda Foster said the ground will be served with high-end padding to prevent any injuries. I actually ha have an employee here that has um, handicapped children. It's very unfortunate that we can't have those children playing right along with the rest. The Knox County Association for Remarkable Citizens, or KCARC, is a nonprofit company providing services for residents with special needs. Jessica Corey, director of children's services, said it's important parents have options where all kids can play safely. Providing the opportunity for these children so they can play with their peers, they can build their confidence, they build that social emotional well-being and just knowing that they can get out and have fun because what kid doesn't want to have fun and be on the playground? $1.75 million of ARPA funding has been requested. It'll address the playground, park infrastructure improvements and beautification. Foster hopes to add similar features to Hillcrest Park. I want them to have the same opportunity to play as any other child. There are several upcoming fundraising opportunities and ways to donate towards the new park. We have more information on our website, mywabashvalley.com. Reporting in Knox County, I'm Zeke Torres. Well, nearly 10,000 people.